I am Anil Kumar and here is a question from previous test paper to represent a finite series in terms of sigma notation. Question 3a. Express each of the following series in sigma notation. Use lower bound of 1 if not stated. x over 5 plus x over 15 plus x over 45 plus x over 135. So there are a couple of examples which I have taken. This is the first one uh, from this question number 1. So it is question number 1a. So sigma notation, I hope you remember, is kind of like this, right? So where i, we can say, starts from 1. So we say i has to start from 1. And since there are 4 terms, it will end at 4. So we know that part. But what should be there, which will take care of all these 4 terms, that is what we need to figure out. So for that, let's rewrite the given expression in a simpler form. So we could write this as, since all are multiples of 5, we could write this as x over 5 and plus this is 3 times 5, right? So we could say x, we could say 5 times 3 also, plus this is 9 times 5 or 3 times 15, right? So we could write this as x over 5 times 3 times 3. And the fourth term is the denominator is 3 times 45. So we could write this as x over 5 times 3 times 3 times 3. You get the idea, right? So, so in general, what we see that the denominator is getting multiplied by 3 each time, right? And we do have a common factor here, which is x over 5. So if I take x over 5 outside, in that case, I get the first term as 1. The next term will be 1 over 3. And then we have 1 over 3 square. And then we could write this as 1 over 3 cube. I mean, 3 cube, right? So that is how we can write. Now, the first term is 1 over 1. You can think about it like this. So it's just a thinking part, right? So I'm not saying anything. I'm saying you could think like this term to be kind of uh, 1 over 3 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. So you get 1 only, right? And then the next term is 3 to the power of 1. And then the next term is 3 to the power of 2. And the fourth term is 3 cube, right? So that is what we think, correct? So based on our thinking, we can now write in sigma notation. So we have something x over 5, correct? So we could write this series as sum of, there is a symbol for sub, right? So extended s in this form. And we'll use a variable here. We could use, we will use i, which is in general. So i equals to 1. There are four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it goes from 1 to 4. And we have x over 5 as common multiple. And it is multiplying this number, which is 1 over 3 to the power of what? First term is exponent is 1 minus 1. Second, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 4 minus 1. So it makes sense. A I minus 1, I should write, right? So I minus 1, correct? So that becomes that becomes the series, finite series, in the summation or sigma notation, right? So, so our answer here is uh, sigma I is from 1 to 4. And uh, we have x over 5 times 1 over 3 to the power of i minus 1, correct? So that is how we can solve it. I hope that helps. So the critical thing here is try to get a pattern. So once you get a pattern, you can then use sigma notation and uh, solve the question. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.